This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all over back here with another episode of Vandal Hearts. In the last episode, we uh, stealth uh, we stealth attacked the uh, the highway patrolman, and then we uh, um, facilitated Clint's escape. But unfortunately, we're not out of the woods yet. We're actually out in the courtyard now, and uh, looks like our odds aren't good. Will the gods be with us, or we'll be you know we'll be buried forever in this uh, tomb of prisoners? Well, let's find out. Uh -oh, where are we? Well, outside, dude. You are stalwart indeed to escape my dungeon. If you however, were wise, you would have stayed below and died quietly. Now you shall die a less pleasant death. Uh-oh. What kind of pris prison warden wields a chain sickle? Uh-oh. Death, uh, defeat. Death of Dumas, or defeat of Dumas, death of Clint. Four of us against all these dudes? Oh my god. We're not going to survive this. We're doomed. Um... All right, sorry about the cut there. Just had to take a quick break in between episodes. Uh, all right, so the bit difficult thing about this fight is, well, obviously, other than being out in the open with only four of us, is our levels and our stats are kind of dangerous. Darius is the one we have to worry about the most because he can get, like, he could possibly get one-shotted by, um, well, not one-shotted. We can, uh, the um, Grenadiers do, like, I don't know, like 40 damage to him or something like that, and... Uh, the Warlocks could do about 42, so he could probably get killed by two two enemies fighting him, so there's that. And then Eleni can take a few hits, but she can still get hurt quite a bit. And unfortunately, her power range is not high enough that I want it to be. If she was 17, she'd be able to finish these uh, Juggernauts with no problem, but because she's, like, level 16, she's going to do, like, like, just below the damage, which is, like, 118, which that, that makes this part a little bit more difficult here. Um, so one way to go is we can um, kind of sc scrunch up into the corner there and do some damage. I kind of wish you could done and then um, make an action, but for whatever reason you can't do both. So, all right. Well, I know you can take the hits, or you can take you can take a warlock shot and you can take a grenadier shot. I think you could take probably two grenadier shots and a warlock shot, but the problem here is yeah, without the power of being 17, that's probably why I should have maybe fought a little harder to get Eleni uh, level 17 before before going here, but oh well. We also had to make sure to try and get Darius to not get attacked as well, so I don't think I can The problem with moving like Darius like somewhere around here is he can get grenadiered uh, by someone and then hit by the magic user, so I think I think I can get him here without, because he might get Grenadier if I move him here, but he won't get magicked by the Warlock or whatever. Oh yeah, there's a, um, I also forgot to mention as well, there are no, I believe no, yeah, no treasure chests on the map, but there are two secrets. There's one here, in the shape of this like little <coughs> seashell, or not seashell, uh, snail shell or whatever, and uh, over here, cracking the wall, or cracking the ground, so keep that in mind as well. You should be able to get both of those pretty pretty easily. Too bad the flyer can't um can't just like fly over these guys like he should. But oh well. Um, yeah, I don't think the world I can hit him from here. But do I want to do that? Because mm. I want to kind of everyone to kind of get slowly over this side here. Let's see how the centurion would work. So if I move out just out of range, I could get No, you'd probably get one shot or two shotted by the Centurion or the Grenadiers. Okay, let's do this. Actually I might want to leave here maybe and then have Amon go over here. Okay, let's try that out. See, see if we survive the first round. You're probably thinking, how are you supposed to survive this whole, this whole fight by just yourselves or whatever? Well, oh, nice. I didn't expect that actually. I mean, I could survive without a block, but hey, luck is part of the equation, there, dude. Ouch. Yeah, she can survive that, but. Yeah, and he's gonna. You see, yeah, if. Uh... Darius hadn't blocked. Okay. Well, if Darius hadn't blocked, he would have died. So, well, I guess that's lucky for me. I guess. And 
since Elena gained a level now, we can um, we can uh, phase shift and finish these guys, uh, finish off the Juggernauts. So I'll probably have to end up healing Darius with a nerve because he can't take another. He wouldn't be able to survive a hit like that. So. And of course, the Deacon spazzes out when he heals. He's like, "Oh, I heal!" Oh. It sounds like Hank Hill or something like that. Ha! Slay them all! I, I might have changed the voice. Um, or Dumas, the rebels. Hmm? Oh yeah, this is probably one of my other second. Well, another one of my favorite scenes in this game. Speak up! <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, it's the. I don't know. I don't. I don't think they meant to do that on purpose. But it's the. You know how they kill an enemy. The blood spurts. Well, they pop out out of the blood. I don't know. There's just something uh, metal about that. You know, that's awesome. But anyway, Ash and the group are here. We're taking over the prison. Lay down your arms or die. I can't believe it. It's Ash. Hold on, Clint. We're coming. Impudent whelp, you will beg to die. All right. Anyway, yep. Now Clint has joined the fray. So unfortunately, it'll take him like a turn to get back here. One way you can do it is try to move everyone to the side here, so you could possibly get healed by Sarah or Huxley. But unfortunately, we're not over there yet, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure something out. So, all right. Let's go ahead and push this boulder here. All right. Excellent. Oops. We'll just have to move everyone slowly forward. Dolan can take a few hits, but you don't want you don't want your characters to move too far ahead because he might get, you know, like hit by it. especially the warlock. But the warlock needs to be distracted on uh, Eleni, Darius, and others right now. So, oh yeah, Sarah got a new spell, at level nineteen, a monk, perfect guard. Um, it is a protect magic fifteen can uh, tackle multiple people or multiple one person from a decent range and uh, it makes them immune to damage for that turn well one turn sorry only one attack is immune to it but that's awesome one of the few reasons why the monk is a pretty good class depending you know so all right we've got do i want to move if i move far enough i don't have to worry about let's see what's my options if i just stay here and i have to at least i have to move up at least And if I leave Darius there, he's at the mercy of the Warlock. But if he moves too far in, he might be at the mercy of the Grenadiers as well. What is your movement range? Oops. Yeah, you have a pretty high movement. The only way Darius will be able to survive that is if I moved him way over here. I'll definitely have to heal him either way, but... I think he might be able to survive some hits. What is your HP at? Oh, that's the Centurion. The Red Deer. Oh, no, he's healed pretty high. Mm. So I move up here. They'll hit. They'll definitely hit the Juggernauts and finish them off. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. If I move back here, Darius can get hit by the Warlock and the Grenadier. If I move back this way, I might be able to just get hit by the Grenadier, but he'd have to. He would need to be healed for sure. Yeah, this is definitely a bad predicament for Darius. Out of all the characters, he's, he's the one I'm worried about the most. Because Eleni can somewhat survive the a couple of hits. Mm. Yeah, let's try this out. I mean, I didn't want to put her out in, the, out in range, but... Yeah, but yeah, the Juggernauts are definitely, definitely toast, no matter what happens in this case. See, there they go. If, I, if only Laney was 17, I, I think I should have fought a little bit harder for that, but oh well. Yeah, I hope you get another level. Nice. Too bad, too bad you don't completely heal when you um, hit a, hit the next level. Or do I want to have... Because I might have to have just have Clint. If I, move, if I move far enough, I might be able to just... Heal Darius, Darius, and just and not worry about the Warlock and just get hit by like the Grenadier. What's your range? Yeah, if I go over here and just heal, he'll be able to take the hit without dying. And I'll just heal him. Ugh, Mega Herb, huh? Yeah, because I think Clint's the only one who can maybe take out the Centurion. Maybe. A I know Amon can from from behind if he attacks him from behind, which I'm going to. Of course, he might he might take the hit from the Centurion. No, wait, the Centurion from uh, 
Centurion from back here will hit him. But he'll only do like 30 damage. So even if this Centurion hits him too, it wouldn't finish him off. So there's that. Well, let me see what happens if I hit the Centurion. Maybe if I'm a little higher, maybe I'll do enough damage. Good. Okay, there's that. I don't want to move too far ahead. Um, I don't want to move too far away in this direction for for Darius, because then he might get hit by this guy, too. How far can you move, dude? Eh, you don't have a lot of options. If I move him here, at least, he'll only get hit by the one Grenadier. And then I might be able to, like, move him in a place that the Grenadier wouldn't be able to attack him. But we'll have to do this to keep him alive. Otherwise, we'll get destroyed. Yeah, I probably should have tried to get Darius up level 15 earlier. Although, funny enough, if I had him level up Eleni, he might have gained a, a level. <laughs> okay, what's my... Alright, let's try it and see what, see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Get up all night to say lucky. Get up all night to say lucky. Ow. Yeah, Darius is kind of in a bind, actually. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll survive the magic attack, for sure. Yeah. In Amon, I can just move him. He's got plenty of movements. So I don't have to worry about him. I might be able to, at this point. I might be able to get rid of that grenadier. So now I'll be able to move, move a lot of people out of the way. Uh oh, yeah, I forgot about that warlock. If I move too close to the edge, I'll be uh, uh, activating him too. So yeah, we'll have to be careful here. Yeah, my guys are fine though. Aha! Nice! Take him out! Hopefully most of my people should hit, like, a good deal of them I hope will hit level 18 by the end of this. Hopefully. We'll find out. And of course, if you want to, you can save the deacons for last if, you wanna, if you're worried about getting all the um, secrets and everything like that. So, okay. We're in a little bit better position than before. Not by much, but we are. So, well, one, I can get rid of the Grenadier here. So the only thing I have to worry about is healing Eleni and Dari Darius here. Or Darius. Let's see, what's his movement like? I could move him, um, but the thing is the Warlock. Well. well let's try, let's see what, what we got going on here. I don't think I can phase shift and do anything. Oh yeah, I guess I technically could have tried to get, um, uh, Face shift going on around here and hit the juggernauts, but they would have moved over here anyway, so that wouldn't have really worked there. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I don't think that face shift can hit anyone else. So. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want Sarah. We don't want Sarah um, getting any um, extra experience, and she's already high enough level as it is. I wonder if I kill that guy. I wonder if I'll be able to. Um, Sarah will have enough movement to get over there. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. And I don't believe the Warlock's magic should... Ah, nuts. I don't think the Warlock's magic should be able to... Actually, if if he can... Oh, if I can get her... Yeah, I won't have to heal. I might. What I might do is have... Oh, no. Um, what's your movement range? Ah, you have a really good movement. Dang it. I hate, I, I hate the Grenadiers. And at least in this map specifically, they are really annoying with their with their movement ranges. I, but I did take out that grenadier, so I could probably have. The only problem is because uh, he wouldn't be able to hit by that grenadier, but he'd still be hit by magic, so I'll have to heal him, for sure. I'll have a, I'll just have Clint do that because I don't have any herbs or anything like that. Okay, so I'll have her you heal him. Oh, I could try using the Mad Book. I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I could have him try to use the Mad Book on a, uh, on the wizard and see if I can stun him. That's quite possible. Okay, so we got that. I need to... I just need to get you over, like, here or something like that, just so... Well, you can't, so that way you don't get uh, targeted by the... Um, but you can actually get healed now. Although your healing isn't as bad. I don't have to worry about that too much. Let's get everyone closer here. 
Move everyone up. Move everyone up. Yeah, this one's a little bit. I have to do a little bit more strategy. This one in the in the chat in the first chapter four battle, uh, take a bit of strategy. Oh, did I? Better not move anyone too far. Yeah, too bad I can't like. Too bad I can't circle circle heal uh, um, a lady from here. But whatever. Yeah, she would, if if the warlock for whatever reason decides to go over there, she's not screwed. All right. Now that we've gotten, now that we're actually, I'm, I'm surprised I got everyone to survive. You know, so. Oh, do I want to go and heal Haymon? Yeah, go ahead. Even though there's no threat there for him, but might as well. You know. Haha! -ha. And you can't be hit by the grenadier here, so. You'd have to. Well, you'd have to. I don't know. You'd have to break basically break the rules of the game at this point. All right. How are you doing? Yeah, you were gonna hit Clint for sure. Yeah. Oh, he blocked. Nice. Ha ha. Yeah, one of the few times I had to use herbs on this map. Uh, the last time I had to use herbs was like the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna kill Derek. I mean, it will do like 50 damage or something like that. But I, since I healed him, I won't kill him or whatever. Yeah, Darius is gonna definitely need some uh, um, levels. <laughs> Probably not this battle, for sure. Oh, and of course he's at a lower. You also gotta remember that Darius is at a lower tier ability. He's not even at a. He's not even at the advanced class. He's at the very basic archer class. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Too bad you can't like level him up in the middle of the turns. But uh, well, that's a strategy game for you. All right, let's get let's get Darius away from all these guys. Finally, now we can heal him appropriately at this point. So all right, now we need to just get everyone to the. Um, over here, because we'll flip that switch. Flip that switch! Alright, actually... Do I want to have... Well, no, I want to have... Let me go ahead and get that item really quick. Alright, some coins. We can sell those. I think those sell for a thousand or something like that. Alright, let's get... Let's just get everyone over here. I don't think the Warlock should be able to one-shot any of my... Um, um, Guardsman, but wait, did uh, did that one dude move? He moved away. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, let's flip this. And that'll that'll lower that one spot over there, so the other guys can get out of the map. Yep. So now they can finally get onto the uh, place proper. All right. You there? Back over this way. Yeah, now that we don't have to worry about the blow part anymore, we're now a little bit, we're a bit more gravy at this point. Can I heal him? Well, my movement's pretty good, so. And Sarah can take at her new level. She has a pretty decent amount of HP as well as other things, so we'll heal Darius. Yes, excellent. I knew I could do it. Well, I knew I could do it because I, spoilers, I play tested before I, before I did this fight to make sure I, I could survive. Um, like I said, this game isn't overall super difficult, but this, but there are a few fights in the game that can, that you could consider pretty challenging. What is your movement at currently? Oh, uh, you'd probably get down either way. Although you can take a hit, though. That's not that big of a deal. Although you can't move here. Yeah, we we want to try and get start getting um, our allies over there. I might wait till I get one more heal before I do that, though. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good there, excellent. Yeah, now we're now we're pretty good. There, I mean, we possibly could lose someone due to like, like I said, a combination of like grenadier or like magic or something like that. But, but the magic uh, warhawk will not do that much damage to. Yeah, you got close, but the warhawk will do not do that much damage to. Dolan. If he if, I think he's gonna attack Dolan. Or Ash. Oh Ash can take that. Yeah. It wouldn't like one shot like Ash or Dolan or anything. It'd do a d decent amount of damage, but I mean he probably is the biggest threat though, um, because of the uh oh yeah and all the bats and everything like that, so of course. Hopefully they don't and eh, they might paralyze her. Okay, good. Oh we can show off her attack animation. Yeah, definitely cool, the the spinning tonfas. The only other time we've seen a Tonfa used outside of like Dynasty Warriors is like Sukoden 2. 
One day, viewers. One day. I gotta heal the bat. Of course you are. I think I think the deacon's heals are are amped up from us because they cast standard heal, but it heals like almost 100 HP. But that's all they do. They can't attack, so I guess that makes sense. So, oh, anyway, yeah. This this uh, here's where we kind of get a little bit of a challenge because of the whole bat situation. So, but luckily we've got. Uh, actually, I could just go. I probably should have left Delaney here. So if we go here, and just oh, we don't have face shift anymore. But I can run and fire you. Ah, uh, but I have to. I can only hit like two of you. No, it's, I should have left her back. I should have left her back there. Oh well. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. She's not going to be able to do much from here for the rest of the fight anyway, so. And then we can phase shift with Zohar and get some decent amount of damage there. How far can I move? Because I can move, like, I'll have to move Sarah back for sure. I can move those two up ahead pretty much. Phase shift will hit a few of them. Not as many as I'd like, but... Alright. Yeah, we're cooking with gas now. We're cooking with gas. We're cooking with gas. Man, face shift just, like, ruin, just wrecks the world. It's just like, you like reality? Why well, spit on reality? At least that's how I feel about, about that anyway. Alright, didn't kill, didn't kill enough people. Didn't kill any people, but... Oh yeah, I'll have to move Darius out of the way, otherwise he'll get magic to, to by multiple people. Uh, I don't think I can hit anyone with... Yeah, that's the problem, is that their their range is too... Oh wait, can I hit, I can hit someone there? Huh. Uh, would I be able to survive? Let's see, what's, what's the Grenadier? Where can he do? He could move there. That would possibly kill him. I could move someone up there, like Asher. Ash or Grog or something like that. Hmm. Uh, hmm. And then there is the Warlock to deal with. Huh. What is your... What is our health situation? Can, I, can Huxley get you? No. Well, I mean, he can get one of you. I mean, he doesn't need to hit both of you. Just Darius for sure. But he might... But if I hit, I'll definitely get the experience... Is a toughie. I oh, don't know, it had to be right here. Let's try it. Yes! And now we'll get an experience, so. Yes! Yes! Now he can survive a, a couple attacks. Alright. Good way to go, Darius. Or Darius. Alright. Um, okay, let's get rid of that. Would I be able to get rid of that other bat? Yes, if he hits. That I might just use. Okay, let's have you move up. Let's get you. Yeah, we'll we'll get you to block. So all you can hit by would be the warlock. Well, except the warlock would attack Grog, and that. Hmm. The problem is the warlock. What is your HP at? Sixty-three. Hmm. And rolling and rolling fi uh, fire won't kill them. That I've Yeah, the problem is uh Grog might get one well hmm. Decisions decisions. What are my options? Ultra healing, bless weapon, mystic shield. I could try to mystic shield like Grog so I could take a couple of hits. It doesn't reduce the damage by that much, so that's that's the sad thing. I don't have any. I have the mage gem, but that just that doesn't wouldn't really do anything for me. Well, I could also heal um, Sarah, so she could be she she could uh, survive the like have her stand there too. Because she could survive some hits. 
Yeah, this little, this little blockade of dudes right here is actually kind of heinous when you think about it. I could perfect guard her. That way she'd survive the first hit, with or any one-time hit without any issue. Or I could perfect guard Grog. Okay, well, let's try... Ultra heal. Oh yeah, you get this at level 19 as a as a healer, by the way. Because we'll definitely need the heals. Now I'll help help with Ash. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the fact that basically because Grog can suffer all the regular attacks. It's just the um, it's the magic users that I have to worry about. I mean, I could have Sarah attack attack the magic user. What's your? What, can you actually hit the magic user? You might be able to kill him. Well, let's find out. Yes, all right. Now the only threat is uh, is the bat. There's the bat, the grenadier, and the magic user. So, I could do perfect guard on I'm going to throw it off, but... Perfect guard! Show, at least show off the spell. So you can take one hit with no with no problems. Okay. And Clint Deck can't do anything, so we might as well go over here. And I don't... Let me see if Amon... I think Amon can do... Finish him off. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. You know, I was about to say we were gravy, but then I realized like what I ran, like what I ran into at that other part. So we'll have to see if my my plan went to fruition or not. Because even if I test running, like there are just random variables that just kind of come up over the course of the fight that I can't really guarantee. You know, um, kind of like what happened here. This didn't happen last time, so okay, we should be able to survive since they targeted the people they targeted. So wait, I thought that was supposed to. Protect from oh maybe it's a physical attack it protects from. Okay yeah. Yeah it was a physical attack. Okay that makes sense that's fine. Let's heal the heal the dang bat. All right yeah now now we're good now that I know that everyone's okay I I guess I was overthinking. Sorry, I've got a little other. I guess I overthought a couple of things. I'm not sure how long this battle is going to be, but uh, overall, but it'll probably be longer just because of me taking forever on certain sections because I wasn't sure if I'd make it. And we definitely need to make sure you get this symbol here before the fight's over. Like, uh, especially if you're trying to get all the keys and everything like that. Otherwise, very sad bear. Um, okay. I assume you won't be able to kill him. How much damage would Diego do? Let's see. I kind of want Darius to finish him off if I can. Nice. Okay. And maybe Darius will get lucky and finish off. He's going to stay up all night to get lucky. Yes! The levels! The levels! <laughs> I need those levels. Oh, Darius needs the levels badly. <laughs> uh, Especially for later. Okay. I think I think Elaine's pretty much done with help. Yeah, she can't really do much. So we'll just have her head this way. So um, now the only threat is really the Deacon and the Grenadier. Or yeah, not the Deacon. Sorry, the Warlock and the Grenadier. Okay, Dolan. Let's see. Yeah, I was hoping to get a bit more levels out of this, but. And I think Dumas should be uh, heading this way here pretty soon. 
I, I might try to see if I can... I might try to see if I can save killing the last deacon and uh, get um, Huxley to level 20 by the end of this fight. Actually, he might be pretty close already. He's pretty close. Okay, what's healing plus you? You can tell if I have nothing to say when I just go, yeah, all right, or whatever. I hate, I hate, I hate result, resulting to that. Sometimes it just seems so, I don't know, uh, not basic. Uh, you know, it's like you don't have anything to say. It's just, I don't know. All right, what's Roman Fire you? I don't think Roman Fire should kill you. I mean, I probably should kill him off just because he can heal, but the thing is, uh, Dumas can do that too, so. Or it could be Dumas, maybe. Uh, and I think he can self-heal, if I recall. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, there's a healing circle. Make sure, just like with the Magnus fight, make sure you don't stick him up here. But usually, after we hit... I think about this point, I think when I move Ash here, I think he'll start heading this way, so... Oh, and try not to get him cornered, if you can help it. Try to keep him out in the open so you can surround him. Nice, 18. I'll take I'll take 18 level Ash. Who else needs a level? Rog. And Diego. Oh, you're pretty close. I might see if I can try to get you to you guys to finish him off. Darius is probably not gonna get any more levels at this point, so we'll we'll accept the fact that he's at 16. Uh, okay, we're good. Yeah, this fight is a little can be a little tricky depending on the variables. Oh, I don't he won't kill at this point he won't kill Darius although I can't let him do that again but hey I'll just back Darius off which I was probably going to do anyway so yep Dumas is moving now alright we might want to just pull him towards us maybe and in this space we get the we get the mana key yes the next key in the in the in the trials, so yeah, we'll do that next chap in chapter four. We can't do that now, obviously. So, All right, let's have everyone move up. They probably won't be able to be much help at this point, but yeah, might as well get them out of the arena. And yeah, Darius, we'll move you back, back to the left. We'll move you last just to make sure that I've, because uh, now Dumas is coming in. I don't want to surround anyone, so. Uh, now let's start moving units in, or moving, getting moving, moved around or whatever. Your HPs, or your MPs were low because you cast Perfect Guard that one time. And I actually didn't need to do that, so, oh well. You'll have to be pretty close. I think Huxley could take a, a hit from a... Oh, I, I must have cast regular healing at that point. Do I want to spend? Yeah, might as well to heal. Not sure. Can I hit him with just healing plus? Let's see. That's. Well, that's only five. Wow. Uh, yeah, we'll just do healing plus. Okay. And yeah, for weird. Oh wait, no. I think actually now that I think about. It, Hold on. Oh, Dumas is the end of the fight. Never mind. Dang it. All right. For a second, I was like, wait a minute. I think Dumas is being Dumas is the end of the fight. You can't hold off a deacon or whatever. Ugh. I hate when I do that. When I when I forget certain objectives. When I know perfectly well what I'm supposed to do, but I've forgotten them. Well, I gotta make sure to kill them before the end of this fight then. Oh well, good thing I healed Darius. I forgot he could hit that far. <laughs> But yeah, now that he, now that he's at, now that he's at a higher elevation, he's not doing as much damage. I could try to get Clint over there to finish him off. What's Clint's level at? 16. Yeah, they, I, I forgot Clint was at a pretty low level. Um, we could always try to see if we can get over here to finish off that grenadier. Yeah, El Elaney is fine in the levels. And we'll get Darius out of the way now. Zohar's levels are good. All right. 
So now he's 18. So now we just need to get Grog and Dolan at that level. We can. Alright, I'm gonna move everyone up here. I wonder if I could. It's probably too far away. Yeah. Same with both of those. Oh well. I don't need to do anything with him. Dolan could use a heal. Nothing major, but might as well get that in there. I'll probably end up just uh, casting something on uh, on Sarah before the battle ends just to get that level 20. Alright, we're good. Hopefully the Grenadier will come towards Clint. Well, towards him, roughly. Unfortunately, Clint's movement I don't think is good enough. I can show off Dumas' attack animation. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage, though. <laughs> yeah, could, uh, one, couldn't one shot. I mean, probably one shot one of my weaker uh, characters, but. Uh, I think if he hits, he should be able to one shot him. Because he's a. Aw, oh, come on, man! I'd have to just, uh... Oh, he... He's a corner, too. Dang it. Um, okay. Might have to have Zohar. I'm... Well, I didn't want to corner him, but I might have to, because I don't want to have, uh, the Grenadier be off by himself, so... Right then. Now let's just, uh... Roman fire you. Finish you off for sure. Alright, now we just gotta get everyone over there to finish him off. I probably don't even need to move Eleni and all that anymore. She's probably at a point where I can't really do much for her. Too bad I don't have that Mega Herb anymore. I could have healed Eleni and given uh, 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 Darius some, a decent amount of levels. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do Moss counterattack, so that way I'm, I'm going to force him to attack, so that way he can, uh, um, so that way he's not wait uh, he's not using a turn to heal. Uh, what's my? Oh, he'll get. Okay, let's move Ash, and let's move my guardsman in to try and uh, take get the extra experience. That'll help with the next fight too. I was hoping it'd be Dolan. Oh well. Oh, come on, man. Dang it. Alright, fine. Alright. And I'll heal you after you attack. Nice. Got that little extra, little extra bit of experience. Woohoo. So you shouldn't be able to kill him because he did he did that so much damage, but I could always how much magic do you have? I think you could do a heal. Oh I can even do cure wide if it really came down to it. Alright. And heal wide obviously does a bunch of healing. Oh, there we go, level 20. Yay! Alright. Yeah, do I want to try? Because he might have decent defense. Well, let's try, then I'll cure white if it really comes down to it. Aha! And we got the Zen Robe. Ah, oh, I didn't get the level. Dang it! Uh, it was probably actually pretty close, too. All right, let's let the let's let the group get together and watch the end of chapter three. Ah, 
gosh, you're live. My words exactly, Clint. Claymore and the other prisoners are free now. Oh, this is another one of my favorite scenes, too. I know that low class voice, Darius. Well, if it is an old man Hobbs, even though the both of them are really old. Are you two friends? Hardly. We are simply from the same village. We were always slapping together. He was always slapping together some piece of junk and making trouble. And there's even unique, like, animations for, uh, for the characters here. Look who's talking! Yeah, I see his face is getting red and everything. I know I shouldn't ex uh, point it out. I just just noticed the stuff. That's all I'm saying. And this guy's famous for the time he was doing healing experiments in town. He accidentally turned a farmer's pig into a chicken. <laughs> and he's got the <laughs> goofy. And yeah, Huxley's all pissed off. I don't know. Well, you burned down the schoolhouse. Come on, you two. Cut it out already. It looks like our plan was a great success. But this is only the first step. The real war with the Empire starts from this point on. And thus ends Chapter 3, Escape to Tomorrow. Everyone's back together, well, except for a few of them. But with this, with our party in tow, we can now take the enemy back to, back from the people. How will they succeed? Is there surprise waiting for Ash and the group? And what about that key I found? What'll that, where will that take us? Find out next time in the beginning of Chapter 4 of Vandal Hearts. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.